Welcome along then. After a turbulent week in the F1 clash world with dodgy pit passes and dodgy weather cycles incoming, we are here at the next GP event. And that GP event is the Formula One British Grand Prix. We are getting ready to hopefully get a superb round of racing let's bring you up to speed alonso archon and cloud raw 25 percent boosted strategy guide it was released on friday go and check it out it includes the big bug in miami so go and check that one we are using level four alonso level five esteban ockham and this is the car we are racing as well we're going to give it our all and if you haven't watched our qualifying round on wednesday well guess what spoiler alert because we're going to about to show you we got 185 points we put in one of the best rounds that we have seen on this free to play account proving to you that you don't have to spend to put in good performances but first of all massive thank you to every single one of you the engagement in the last two posts has been incredible long may that continue and let's long await some good good improvements in f1 clash because that is what we are all here for but first of all let's get into it we are going for race number one and that race number one can be difficult it's coming from imola here we go then here we go first matchup slightly out of our favor but can we upset the odds you never know not expecting to score 47 points every single race i obviously want a couple but we're going to find out if we can do it today. We are on the back foot a little bit, starting P11 for Arcon and P14 for Alonso. Check the weather, going up to 34 degrees. Wow! We are going on to some hards for Alonso, I think. And we're going to go mediums for Arcon. Now, I am going to use the copper boosts because we're going for it. We are ready to go. Come on. So at 31 degrees, it is looking pretty hot, pretty hot. And we're going to try and maybe do a 3-3-2 free, free with Ocon. Definitely looking at doing a 4-4 four, four with Alonso on these hard tyres. And we're going to try and benefit from a little bit of poor tyre management from the AI and the rival. Are we going to be good enough? Well, we'll find out in around five minutes time to see how many points we can collect. But at least on the mediums, well, we can attack that little bit more. That is why we are on them. Rivals trying to push past and we'll succeed. We're up to P6. And now we're back down to P12. But we got tyres when the heat comes in. Alonso then. Round the outside. And Ocon. He's doing okay for tyres at the moment. He could do a 4-4 if his tyres hold out. We're going to push a little bit more with both cars as we are in P5. Rivals made a great start on them soft tyres. We oh, thought we were through with Fernando, who is staying at Aston Martin next season. And he's just gone backwards, as I have said that. Now, temperature is increasing. So we are going to definitely look to do a free medium, free medium, too soft. Because it's getting pretty hot. Rival looks like he's going around. Uh, Alonso's down in P13. Hopefully this wasn't a mistake going for the hard. But I wanted to try and stick out a 4-4. And we are getting overtaken by, well, everybody at this stage. Hards just seem so slow, but definitely wanted more points. Now, Imola, not expecting big, big points in terms of 47. But maybe with everyone just running out of tyres, old Alonso has pulled out a strategy genius. Let's find out. As they come round the final corner and some cars carry on, a lot of cars pit. Rival goes on to do a four medium, four medium. Which I didn't think would have been possible on my cars, but we're about to find out. Alonso moving past Carlos Sainz and there is Ocon on the mediums. Now this rival just about to run out of tyres, so he's going to come back to us, but probably manage that okay. And yes, he is now out of tyres. Alonso only P10. Difficult start in Imola. Uh, rivals dropped quite a lot back as we now pit. Quite a lot of cars are doing a 4-4 then. As we carry on round, earning the power unit with Ocon. We're going to push this little bit of section here. 
Alonso looks like he is going to be struggling. And you can see the rival still pushing out. Alonso only P17. Are we going to be paying the price? Perez is P16. If you ever feel bad, just think where Perez is. Absolutely nowhere. Now we've got good old Kevin ahead of us. And, I mean, this is the problem I find. When we're running hard tyres, we are slow. We've got past Kevin, so we're not as slow as Kevin, which is good. And then come back for soft. 39 degrees. I wish it was 39 degrees. And everyone is going to be pushing quite that bit extra. We've got to watch these tyres, because that is ridiculously hot. Ocon's in P4. Rivals just about to run out of tyres on the soft. We've got good power unit left as well. As we cut back down. I don't think Alonso's in a ridiculously place here. But to score 47 is going to be very, very tough in these conditions on our car starting from where we started. We are in the pits, though, and we are already coming out. You can see tyres playing a part. I assure you that cars are going to run out of tyres towards the end of this race. Guaranteed that some of these will run out. Royal, we are now passed. We are passed into P8 with Alonso. Now, stepping up the gears... We can keep pushing. Rivals got to come into the pits. Surely. And carries on. Carries on. Going to run out of tyres by a mile. As Alcon gets now into P5. Down the straight. Alonso's got decent tyres left. Few percentage extra. This rival's about to run out. And it looks like we might only get around 40 points today at Imola. But that's not too bad. Rival is out of tyres. The question is, can we catch him up with Alonso, who is not too far away at the moment? But that rival is going to be pretty slow, as Esteban Ocon will compete onto the podium and take P3. We're trying to catch the rival, who are we going to catch? Are we going to catch? Yes, we are. We're going to take a P6 finish. And we're not going to want to do that. Save that one. So 41 points from a very difficult Imola, difficult, difficult conditions, but we will take and run to the next race. 1464 for the rival, looking at a level 5 and level 6, and the car was pretty much the same as ours, not far off, but drivers, they were way better than us. So here we go then, race number 2, and make sure you comment down below your expectations from this weekend. I want to know where you're expecting to finish. And remember, our clubs are recruiting for the new season. So if you are a player who thinks you're going to be very dedicated next season, you want to learn and you want to be competitive, then let me know. Join the Discord down below and let me know you want to join our clubs as we are about to get underway again. Now, we're going to use a fair few Copper Boosts this weekend because Copper Boost is the boost on offer. So... At least when we finish rewards, we'll get some more copper boost back. But Montreal 4-4 is the potential with a lot of the AI pitting on lap 5 or lap 6. Can we get back onto form? 47 points? Well, it's certainly going to be a possibility for Canada. A P9, a P11 start. And can we get... And a nice good luck from the rival as well with Voice and Movember boosts for them. And we're going to now try and get off to a good start as we get pushing through the first couple of corners. And already Esteban Ocon has moved himself up the P5 and is now on the back of Lewis Hamilton in the Mercedes. Goes to the inside line and takes him. And now he's already past Esteban Ocon. Ocon's had a great start as he goes past Max Verstappen into P2. And now hunts down Fernando Alonso who takes the hairpin nicely. And there's a safety car. Max Verstappen has stacked it. He is out of the Canadian Grand Prix. We're not going to pit at this present time because we've only just started. We're on lap one. Rival doesn't pit either. And that is Max Verstappen in the Red Bull. The cheers. I can hear them. They're loud and clear. The fans may be a little bit happy with that one. But... P2, P4, we've had a great start. 
Rival is back in P8 and P12. Now, remember, when a safety car is deployed, it usually extends all the AI stints by one lap. So your chances are now that most of these cars will come in on lap six for a change of tires, and them tires will be the wet ones. We're going to get some decent power unit back as we look to start as we approach the wall of champions, the final corner. We'll get a nice cheeky screenshot because we're about to get underway again here in Canada is 47 points. As the safety car pulls into the pits, we have got no pace. Where did our pace go? Off the restart. But we, when we do survive and Fernando Alonso moves himself into P3. Here comes Esteban Ocon then looking for a move into the lead. Boom. Esteban Ocon is up to P1. So P1 and P3 currently taking 46 points here in Canada. Uh, not anymore because the rival has had something to say about that and moves himself into P3. We are just managing our power unit. Rival has emptied that power unit. And we are going to just stay pretty close because they're going to have to try and save. They're into P2. What we'll do is we'll just come past Fernando. And we'll put ourselves right there as well. Well, actually, instead of being right there, we'll just move move past, shall we? And take back to P2. So looking good. And what I might do then is just in case of any more safety cars, I will just pit Esteban Ocon. Now, the rival's got no power unit to come back at us here. Full lap of Alonso pushing. Ocon's going to be coming out of the pits. Hopefully gets into P3. Oh, yes. Oh, it's even better. He's into P2. Get in, Ocon. And already, pit stop's done. Esteban Ocon is in a great position because he's a good five, six, seven seconds ahead of Ocon net value. As he goes past, but let's try and keep Hamilton at bay. And we'll be good. Alonso has emptied everything. Rival will now pit. Everyone should extend, which they have done as Alonso already comes out. So just the rival pitting on lap five. As we mentioned, everybody now does a plus one lap on their tyre stints and will pit on lap number six. Even, yeah, everyone should be lap six. So Ocon, Alonso, don't need to pit. We've got a nice big gap now ahead of P8, who was right with us at one stage, and we're going to just earn power unit back. When you're ahead, you want to earn power unit because that will be able to defend. And sometimes defending is the best form of attack. Or attack is the best form of defending. Whichever way you want to go with it. But it's P1 and P2. We won in 47. It looks like we're going to take 47 here. One and a half laps to go. Rivals pushing, but they've run out of power unit. They're only P4 and P8. Tell the rival, give him some encouragement. Go, go, go. Can he get any higher? And a fairly uh, nice rival here. Very complimentary, which we like to see. Not all, it's not very often we get some not, not nice good looks. Usually it goes the other way and it gets a bit volatile. But we're going to boost. We're going to take this victory nice and easy. In the end, well managed race strategy, race management important. As we come down to the hairpin, the Canadian crowd go wild. As Esteban Ocon is going to lead home a as a W one two, and it's going to be for a beautiful forty seven points. Ocon crosses the line. It is a one. It is a two for Alonso, and the rival is going to come home. What looks to be in P four, and potentially going to stay in P eight. So back in the points after a difficult first race in Imola. 47 points. Decent matchup like we explained and you saw at the start. Level 4, level 4 for the rival. And the car was pretty balanced, needing that more cornering. So it's a return to the person that we had in Imola. And it's a 1-4-6-4 team score matchup. And Hungary is where you can set your fastest line on Sunday. We don't obviously need that because we're not fighting for 376 points. What do we do here? Do we go a soft, medium run? 
as we start lagging. Interesting. P11, P13. I reckon we do that. I reckon we go Frost. I think we go Copper. And we give it our all in race number three as we head off to Hungary. I'm pretty hungry myself. Hungry for points. Let's go. So we're not going to push Alonso too hard because he wants to do a nice, easy four, soft, four, medium. Roy has gone soft and mediums. So that's going to be difficult to manage based on the fact that you can't push too much on a four soft needing over 93 plus tire management, I would argue. We've had a difficult start and that start's going to be made a little bit more easier now as we move into P8, P7, P6. I mean, why not just push a little bit more and take P5 or something as well, you know? Thank you very much. What about P4 for Max Verstappen? He doesn't want that position, surely. Thank you. So P4. Now, we are using Max Tire Management. What is the rival going to do? They've got to do a lot of management now on that tyre to be able to really go forward. So we'll see what it is. Rivals drop back and we are in to P9 with Alonso, potentially doing five laps here because we don't want a double stack. What's the rival's tyres like? They are below 50%. So we've got the advantage. They will just run out as Max Verstappen comes back past as we earn our power unit back. Be interesting to see if the rival pushes their power unit as Fernando Alonso moves into P8 and he's looking at Esteban Ocon for a P7 move. Let's go, Fernando! As we're in to P7. Still on the back of a head. Will the rival pit? He's down to less than 25%. I think he's at about 20 and he doesn't pit. Problem is, well, I was going to say we're getting held up. Not anymore. We're past. We're going to go to mediums. Oh, this bungee cord of pulling cars back. Very frustrating. But we've kept ahead. Alonso's into P6. Didn't see that happen. And we're going to save our... I mean, we could pit, but I think we go for... I mean, Rivals managed it just about. Just got there. Fair play to the rival. Managed that to perfection. And even I was pushing... And just only managed it to perfection. So good, good work by the rival. And we are round for one more lap. Alonso goes on. Rival's already out. Gone for softs again. That's an interesting move. Where does Ocon come out? P7. So that rival can obviously do four softs. No problem. Didn't I did think they would be a bit more tougher to do. But maybe not. Maybe I was just wrong. We've got Perez ahead of us. And now we're going to push our own car. Come on, Ocon, get ahead. Come on, Esteban. Come on. Yes, finally, we're through. So P5. Rivals just cruising at the moment, out front, which I don't mind coming in the top five any day. A little bit of a harder matchup for us. And we score what we can score. But Ocon's chasing. We will move up to... I mean, can we get Fernando Alonso? That's actually looking pretty difficult at the moment. We're going to try and get into P5 and P4 because they're only just ahead. And Alonso is flying. Not literally, but he's flying enough. He's into P5. Rival, you can see out the corner of your screen there, coming along as well nicely. We're into P4. Can we get P4? Up the inside. Thank you very much. So P3, P4. We've got to catch Fernando. Fernando is fast. He is very fast at the moment. We're trying to close, but I don't know if we will catch. We can just see him out the bottom at the top now of our screens. So if we can get him, we will certainly try, but it's going to be tough. And I don't think we potentially will catch him. He's too far ahead, but we'll keep, keep pushing at every stage we can. Rivals moved up to P6 at the moment. We are catching not enough, though. Not even going to matter, I don't think, sending Alonso through either. As here goes Alonso on the soft tyres. Can he get a late move? No, he can't. It's P3, 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 P4. And we do take 43 points. So he said it was a difficult matchup. Only 
22 team score difference. But when you look at the drivers, I mean, we're level on Ocon, but Alonso level six is hugely advantageous for the rival and the car is decent as well. I'm surprised the, the rival's not getting that second driver through the field as easy though. So on to race four then. So it's fair to say we have had two very nice matchups, I think it was, and two tough matchups. And we've done okay. We've dropped around 10 points so far. I think we are on one free one out of one four one. And we've got this final race at race four to show you coming from the buggy Miami. So will we get booked weather? It is potentially not going to be changing conditions. We're going to go copper. I love a copper. We're going to go. And can we? You can get a great start at Miami. That's not a bug. I mean, it could be. But let's see. P10, P12, real player time. Can we get a good start? You usually can at Miami. Rival's got the beautiful inside line. And the rival has benefited from the good start. He's up to P8. As, wow, as Ocon goes flying up the inside. The door was left wide open. They must have thought they were born in a barn. And now we are up to P4. So P4 and P9. Shocker. As the whole field left that inside line open. And we move up to P3 and P8. This is a safety car. Safety car. Who is that? It's Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton is out already. And I think we chuck a medium pit stop for Ocon. I think I continue with Alonso. Or do I? No, I'm going to pit. I'm going to risk it for that chocolate glorious biscuit. We're in the pits. Come on. Oh, beautiful pit stop team. Rival's gone for the hards. We're not going to lose too many places as we... Oh, Kevin! Kevin just beats us out. So P6, P11. Another safety car. Two in four races. A 50% value of safety cars so far. And we line a stern with Kevin Magnussen, P10, Stroll and Ocon behind us on the hards. Question is, can we do three laps on the mediums still? I mean, it's going to be tough. We could do two very nicely pushed laps. And I think that's probably the way I will go. As the flashing beacon of the safety car goes down the back straight and we will be off and racing. Lewis Hamilton then out of the Miami Grand Prix after uh, getting pretty fed up with his Mercedes and decides to take an early bath. But we're about to get underway. Another safety car. Uh, Alonso for the rival didn't pit. I think we could do two lap push. Feeling a two-lap push here and just trying to aim through the field. Here we go then. Session resume. We are racing again in Miami. I think I'll stick to the two laps because ahead of us, there is a few mediums that could extend as Alonso gets past K-Mag. Can Ocon get past Leclerc? No, is the answer. Can Alonso get past Ocon? Not at the moment. We definitely will need to pit. Next lap, next time round. Going to be mediums again. So we probably could have gone softs, but it's okay. I'm not going to lose too much sleep, don't worry. And then the only problem we might have is double stacking. So we're going to push. The rival can go to softs. Well, not at the minute, because he's actually going to pit with that car. So we're going to move into P2. And there is Lando. It'd be great to get Lando nice and early. Come on, inside line, I'll come. Come on, come on. Yes, in to P1 with a pit stop inbound for a three lap medium. There's no rain on the way. Well, hopefully not. We can see the icon, but I don't know oh, where's Norris come from. How's he pulled us back in? I told you that somehow on this game, they pull you in like a bungee cord. And that is exactly what has happened to Esteban Ocon. We got past Norris and Norris said, I'll pull you 
back in. And now we're going to double stack because we should have been ahead nicely at that stage. And the game said, uh -uh, I'm going to stuff you over. And there's the double stack. Look away now. Painful, painful times. Where do we come out? Behind Perez. To make matters worse, Norris is well ahead as well. <sighs> so, P5. I don't get the bungee cord thing. I just don't get it. It's just almost like you get past and they reel you back in for the fun and games. P5 for Ocon. No more pit stops as we move into P4. Rival's got to pit. Rival will have to pit on the other car as well. We've got decent tyre management. This is not over by any stretch of the imagination as we move now into what will be P3. So as we approach the back of that McLaren again, Alonso finds himself in P4 as he makes a nice inside line. And now we go to recover down the straight. Two minutes until the rain. We will not be bogged this time round. We have got potentially a chance to make P2 and P3 because you can see the Red Bull just going down the straight now. Lando Norris is ahead of us and not much longer. We're ahead. Rival Max Verstappen, I think it is out front, just coming into the pits now. So I don't think Alonso is going to creep ahead. He's not got great tyre management left. But, you know, we risk it and see where they are. There he is, just coming out of the pits. Ocon's into the lead, and he's come out on soft. So I don't think we're going to catch. I mean, we're not far off them. Hopefully they get held up a little bit. Remember, we have good cornering. We will push a little bit, because we've got a nice little gap to P5. There is the Red Bull coming through. Can we get a move? Yes, we can. This could be 47 points still, as Alonso... Now, cast a conserve. This is going to be a last corner attack on Lando Norris. Do we have enough tyre management to survive? Can we get 47 points as we hit the line? We're going to push anyway. Oh, it lagged. He jolted backwards. We were going to get him. And he jolted back. P6, P8 for the rival. Great race for them as well. So we just couldn't get the 47 points, but we will take a 46 all day long. Good race for the rival two in tricky safety car conditions. Two safety cars out of four. Wow. But there you go. That is what the rival was running. And the car was okay as well. Just obviously needing more cornering as they always do. But let's take a look how that sees us halfway through our rounds in opening round. So we've done four races and we have scored 177 points. We have dropped 11 points so far. Now that is not too bad because we don't expect to score 376. We had a very tricky race in Imola and we had another tricky race in Hungary with a tough matchup. We returned to Miami with no bugs. Great because we got 46 points and we are on 177. Make sure to let me know down below how you are getting on and how you think you will do this weekend so we can come back and review. But there you go. That is your opening round done on the free to play account. Good luck. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. It's free.